today we're going to be talking about power supply cables and not where you plug them in specifically but what they actually power and what they do so we're going to start with the biggest one and the probably the most obvious one you see is your 24 pin power cable now this also might be a variant of a 20 plus 4 or just a 20 pin uh, older motherboard power cables use 20 pins but more modern ones use 24 so sometimes you'll see them split like that but this is going to be your main power for your motherboard so this will help power anything from your PCIe lanes to your fan headers to any other slot you have on your motherboard that requires power comes from this giant 24 pin or in older cases 20 pin cable. All right, next up we have the four or possibly eight pin CPU cable. So this typically plugs into the top left hand of your board and is dedicated to powering your CPU alone. So some older motherboards actually won't even require this cable, but more modern ones and more powerful CPUs, especially those that require overclocking or have overclocking capabilities are going to need some extra juice that doesn't come straight from the 24 pin. So this one is dedicated to powering your CPU for more higher requirements. All right, next we have the six pin or possibly an eight pin PCIe power cable. So similar to the CPU power cable, this one is dedicated towards your graphics cards and it can either be six pin or eight pin or possibly a six plus two pin variant. So that way if you have an eight pin or if you have a six pin, this one cable has the six you need and then has two extra in case you have an eight pin. Now the difference between these is your PCIe lanes themselves can offer 75 watts of power but if your graphics card requires more power than that it's going to need its own dedicated cable so if it requires a six pin cable that will add another 75 watts if it adds an eight pin cable that will add another 150 watts per cable so whatever graphics card you have depending on its power requirements it might require one or multiple of these cables for additional power beyond the 75 watts it can draw from its pcie connection all right, next we have Molex, and this is going to be one of the oldest connectors you probably see in your computer. Modern day stuff doesn't use it as often. Mainly you're going to see it connecting um, fans in your computer. It can only power up to 12 volts. Um, so this was typically used in older hard drives and CD and DVD ROMs, but today that's all actually replaced by SATA power. And so this is the next and the final cable here we have, and this is basically the modern day Molex cable. This is used to power your hard drives, to power your CD, DVD ROMs, any kind of extra peripherals, fan controllers you have. Um, this SATA connector replaced all of Molex basically, except for probably the fans, which I'm sure there's adapters online you can find, or you can put SATA into a three pin or four pin fan connection. But typically anything that was Molex is SATA today. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this fast little video on what the power connections and all the cables do in your PSU. If you have any questions or any thoughts you want to leave in the comments below, I'd love to talk more about this with you. If you haven't already, consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.